it was all right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we can start. Hmm. Good afternoon. Welcome to the city of Orange Township first virtual inauguration ceremony for the mayor and at large council members. Yeah. Uh, I'm Joyce Lanier, the city partner of the ceremony. And if I can just ask everyone to mute their phones because there's feedback. Um, this is a first experiences and uh, it seems as if it's going to be a tad bit trying. <laughs> so I don't really know who, who's all on the call, but I did um, notice and I would like to acknowledge um, Judge Michael Hackett. Um, and I believe um, Judge Corbett uh, said she was coming and I'm not sure if she's on the call. So I'm not going to go through it. If you are on the call and I didn't acknowledge you, please forgive me. I'm here. Thank you. Oh, you are. Okay. So is sure. Judge Hassan also here? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Yes, I'm here. Okay. So also we do have on the call um, Chris Hartwick, the, the business administrator, Gracia R. Montillas, the city attorney, Kenneth Douglas, the fire director, Adrian Mack, the finance director. Um, I'm not sure if uh, Marty Mays is on the call, Public Works. I didn't see his name pop up. Um, Todd Warren, the police director. Um, I believe is on the call and also Wendy Sites, the uh, director of community service. I would like <clears throat> everyone to um, welcome you to this inauguration ceremony and, um, and introduce the mayor and the council at this time. Um, Reverend Lula Baker of Cross and Crown Christian Church will give um, invocation. So uh, Reverend Baker, you can just start the program. It's not over here. Reverend Baker, are you here? Pastor Baker, unmute yourself. I can see that you're talking, but I can't hear you. Your sound might be off. Your mic is on, but your sound might be off. But just to move the um, I don't know if you could fix that. No. Okay. Well. I have a turn the volume up. Can you turn your volume up on your computer? Because I don't. I'm not sure. Yeah. Joyce, uh, yes? I, the feedback is being caused because uh, some people who are on the call are on a video call, but they have family members or other people in the room with them who have an open telephone line. So if that happens to be you, that's what's causing the feedback and you need to have the phone lines closed off. And that will eliminate the feedback. Reverend Rutherford said, I'm happy to switch places with her if needed. Okay. So um, Reverend Rutherford has um, offered his service for the invocation. Uh, if you can just unmute your mic and. Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me okay? Yes, we can hear you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come now, dear God, invoking your presence in this virtual meeting. We trust, Lord, that you are with us. We pray your blessings upon each and every one of us that is gathered here today. We ask in the name of Jesus, dear God, we ask that you, uh, that you lead our minds, that you guide our spirits and our hearts, dear God. We are here uh, to do the work of this town, and we pray, Lord, that you will allow us to be united around your word, regardless of uh, which faith we follow, dear God. We all worship Yahweh. We all worship you. And so we ask right now that you let your spirit reign 
over each and every one of us. Let everything we do be pleasing in your presence, that your people might be served and that we might be better for it. In the name of uh, all that is holy, we thank you and pray. Amen. Thank you, Brother, uh, Reverend Rutherford, for stepping in for us. Um, so at this time, I'm certified the election. Um, I, Joyce Lanier, the city clerk of the city of Orange Township, New Jersey, do hereby certify that a municipal election for mayor and at-large council members was held in the city of Orange Township on May 12, 2020. As a result of that election, voters of the city of Orange Township elected the Honorable Dwayne D. Warren as mayor, the Honorable Weldon Montecute III, the Honorable Clifford Ross and the Honorable Adrian Wooten as at-large council members. I therefore, in accordance with the statutes provided, declare the Honorable Dwayne D. Warren elected mayor of the city of Orange Township. I do further declare that the Honorable Weldon Montecute III, Clifford R. Ross and Adrian Wooten elected as council members at large. At this time, um, we would like to introduce Avron White, uh, who will be administering the oath of office to Mayor Dwayne D. Warren. Uh, and following the administering of the oath, um, the Mayor uh, Warren can give his inaugural address. Uh, Auburn, are you there? Ooh, challenging. Mayor Warren, are you still on the call? Yes, we are here. Oh, okay. Um, Mr. Good White, are you open now? Yes, I'm ready. Good afternoon. We're ready. Can I see? You can begin. Um, your camera is off. I'm not sure if that's what you want. No, we're trying to get it on. Is it on now? Is it on now? No. Is it? You Someone just came on. No. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is it on now? Yes. Okay. Please raise your right hand. Okay. I repeat after me. I, Dwayne D. Warren. I, Dwayne D. Warren. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith. And that I will bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. And to the governments established in the United States. And to the governments established in the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. And that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And justly. And justly. Perform all of the duties of the mayor of the office of mayor in the city of Orange Township. Perform all of the duties of the office of mayor of the city of Orange Township. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. And understanding. And understanding. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Congratulations, Mayor. At this Thank time, you. if you'd like to give your um, inaugural address. Um, okay. I don't know, I'll just change the camera. Okay. To the members of the city council, to all who are president, present, 
and especially to the residents of the city of Orange Township. Today has been a great day in Orange. I want to thank all for electing me to a third term as mayor of the city of Orange Township. It has been a great eight years and we're looking forward to 12 more. We pledge during this administration to be more efficient, to be more of a service oriented organization and to make proud all of our residents and our taxpayers. From development to tax base, to education, to items that are critically necessary for our seniors, we intend to step up our game and move to the next level. Our challenge has been set before us. Coronavirus has issued us a challenge that has been issued globally. And certainly here in our corner in Orange, we are going to respond in the way that makes our residents proud, in the way that makes our residents know that we in the government are here for them. As the governor has put off the full opening of all commerce, we in Orange will start to get ready almost immediately. I'll be meeting with our restaurant owners, our store owners, our residents to make sure that when we bounce back, there will be no return of a high curve in our coronavirus numbers. It'll be all about safety, security, and the health of the citizens of the city of Orange Township. If you look at Orange today, it's a different place than when it was when I took office. And today, if you look at it, take a snapshot because it'll be a different place, a better place than when we took office today in four years. I wanna thank everyone who supported us, all of the employees, the department directors, everyone who pulled their weight to make sure that we respond to our residents, I thank you. But going forward, I issue you a challenge. I'm gonna ask you to do more with less. I'm gonna ask you to work harder. I'm gonna ask you to work smarter. I'm gonna ask you to be more responsive and more respectful of our citizens. Going forward, it'll be that kind of administration that our city will see. That'll be the face of Orange going forward. I thank you for your support, for your vote, and for your confidence. Thank you very much. I, I would like to close out with personal thanks to certainly our council people who have been with me um, at every turn, every major accomplishment that we have made. It has been because the council has seen fit to buy into the vision and make sure that Orange is solid going forward. So I thank them. Uh, my department directors who have been loyal, faithful, and hard workers, I thank you as well. My family, um, to my daughter who is right in back of me, who uh, admits the, the, in the midst of the coronavirus, uh, her college, her first year of college was upset and she had to come home. But she's been a great child. Um, she's been a great sounding board and she's been a great daughter and I thank her for her presence here. To my son who is away in college at Howard University, I thank him as he enters his senior year in September. Um, you watch your children grow, you plant in them, you worry over them, but mostly you pray for them and God has truly blessed me in that endeavor. And lastly, I would like to thank uh, my partner of over 20 years. My wife, Dr. Karma Warren, has served me, has served my family, and has served this community very well. She is a first responder, but mostly for me, she is a friend, a wife, and someone on whom I can always depend. Without her support, I am nothing, I am nowhere. All of you know the best way to reach me, the best way to make me the most effective is to talk to uh, my mate, Dr. Carmen Warren, I love her so much. Thank you to the residents who have called me, who voted for me, who called me on the carpet when needed to be, who chastised me, who made me a better man, a better person, and certainly a better mayor. To all the 30,000 residents of the city of Orange Township, I thank you and I'm forever in your debt for this opportunity to serve. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor Warren. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Um, moving on, uh, we will now have each of the large council members take their oath of office. And we'll start with um, 
the Honorable Weldon M. Montague III. And so uh, the Honorable Keith C. Harvest will be administering the oath of office, judge of judgment. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, go, go there, stand over here at the bottom. I'm sorry, that's okay. Get straight, you ready? Okay, this is indeed a family affair. Raise your right hand. Repeat after me. I, Weldon M. Montague. I, Weldon Montague the third. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly please swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And to the governments established in the United States and to the governments established in the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. And that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. Impartially. And partially. And justly. And justly. Perform all duties of the office. Perform all duties of the office. Of council member at large. Of council member at large. In the city of Orange, New Jersey. In the city of Orange, New Jersey. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. And understanding. And understanding. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Weldon Montague III. Thank you. The Honorable Weldon Montague III. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, next, the Honorable Neil N. Jassy, Judge Superior Court, retired, will administer the oath of office for the Honorable Clifford R. Ross. Okay. You can't see me. On this side. You all, we all set? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Uh, please place your left hand on the Bible and raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Clifford Ross, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. I, Clifford Ross, do swap sound, we swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And to the governments established in the United States and in the state. And to the governments established in the United States and in the state. Established in the United States and the state. Uh, under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. And that I will faithfully. And I will faithfully. Impartially. And partially. And justly perform. And justly the duties. All the duties. Of the office of. Of the office of. Council member at large. Council member at large. Of the city of Orange Township. Of the city of Orange Township. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. And understanding. And understanding. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank um, next, you. Um, Alvarin D. White will yeah. administer the oath of office to the Honorable Adrian Wu. Okay. Let's get him. I think she had a good picture of school. Yeah. Am I? I'm not looking at you. I couldn't read it. Go on. Okay.
Oh, so they're doing Adrian now, but she's muted. Take that, take that. I'm taking it. Take the mute on, put the mute on. I, Adrian K. do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, and I will support the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, and that I will perform two states, and I will perform two states. And allegiance to the same, and allegiance to the same, and to the government established in the United States. And to the government in the United States. And in this case, I'm sorry. Avrin, 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 somebody in the camera has a, a phone on or something, so you're not coming across clear. You can't do both of them. That's what I'm telling you. You have to turn one of them off. Sorry. How's that? That's better. That's much better. Thank you. Clerk, I'm going to start over. Start over, please. OK. I, Adrian K. Wooten. I, Adrian K. Wooten. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith. And that I will bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. And to the governments established in the United States. And to the governments established in the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. And that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And justly. And justly. Perform all the duties. Perform all the duties. Of the office of council member at large. Of the office of council member at large. In the city of Orange Township. In the city of Orange Township. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. And understanding. And understanding. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the honorable council members at large for the city of Orange Township. Council member Montague III, you may have the privilege of addressing this audience first, followed by Clifford R. Ross and Adrian K. Wooten. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Okay. First of all, I'd just like to say I'm, I'm humble. I'm honored. I'm up to the challenge to be your next councilman at large in the great city of Orange, New Jersey. Council member, um, pull your camera down a little bit. We can't see your face. We just see the top oh. of your head. There you go. How's that? How's that? <laughs> I, will, I will only be making decisions based on the best interests of Orange, New Jersey citizens. I have allegiance to you. I promise not to cower or fold to outside influences. Let me be perfectly clear. I want our, our mayor, Dwayne Warren, to succeed. But again, all of my decisions will be based on the interests of Orange, New Jersey residents. And it is my wish and goal to have a unified council. First of all, I want to give thanks to God. I want to give thanks to my mother that passed away in 2015. I know she's proud of me. My father, who's with me right now, 85 years old, I'd like to give thanks. He's always been one of my biggest supporters. My son and daughter with me right now. I love them both so much. Uh, I have two brother-in-laws, Keith Harvest, Gary Harvest. They've been a part of my family since I can remember. I love both of them. My, my family is very supportive. We're very close. 
I have family in Georgia, Virginia, Florida, Washington, D.C., New York, and New Jersey. Thank you for all the support, and I love you. I would like to give thanks to my pastor, Reverend Rutherford. He's always been in my corner. He's supported me with every decision I ever made, so I appreciate that. I also want to thank my Ebenezer Baptist Church family. They always have my back. I'll do anything for them. I also want to thank Team Orange, New Jersey. First of all, I want to thank Donna because she asked me to run with her. I learned a lot from her, and I appreciate it. Also, I'd like to give thanks to Antoinette Hall, Mark Thomas Wright, Jawan Johnson, <clears throat> Ken Woods, Joseph Walker, Sue Sue Stewart, Adrian King, Ray Warren, Thomas Edwards, Anthony Salters, and I have a host of friends and well wishes. All the candidates that participated in this election, I got to give thanks. We had a very clean election. I appreciate it. But first and foremost, I'm going to put the citizens of, of Orange first. Okay? And one last thing. Grace, could you come over here for a second? I want to save her for last. <laughs> This is my wife, Grace, Grace Montague. She's been through a lot with me. I talk too much. I'm always socializing, but she is my backbone. And I appreciate her. I love her. So, you know, look, happy, happy wife, happy life. All right? So I promise I'm gonna, I'm gonna make everybody proud of me. And just thank you, Lawrence. I, I, you know, I just appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Council uh, Member uh, Montague III. Um, Councilman Ross, you may give your address. Thank you, Councilman Montague. <laughs> Thank you. Everyone. I am so excited and blessed to be here today. I want to first thank God, my Lord and Savior, my lovely wife, Mamie, family and friends, and voters of Orange for voting for me. <laughs> A special thanks to the entire Warren team that was so supportive of me. I am honored and humbled to be elected councilman at large of the great city of Orange. And I am looking forward to working with everyone for the betterment of Orange and its residents. My one and only interest is to serve the residents of Orange to the best of my ability. This is a moment to celebrate, but it, but it is also a moment to gather strength and drive to move forward on our promises of a better city life for all. As we all navigate around the city, we, you can see the many projects that are going on. Our streets and sidewalks are being repaved. New development is going up all throughout the city. Our high school building is being extended. Abandoned and dilapidated homes and buildings are being refurbished and sold and put back on the tax rolls. There are also many more projects in the pipeline <clears throat> that will come to fruition that we will enhance that would enhance our city to help stabilize our taxes. Mainly the old hospital site that will bring economic growth and jobs to the city. All of these improvements will make the city of Orange a better place to live and grow. I, as your councilman at large, will advocate for complete transparency, accountability between the council, administration, and residents. I will work to help stabilize taxes. I will get involved in community relations and policing. I will work to improve our parks, recreation, and after school programs. I will advocate for the small business owners and new business to the city. I will work to increase senior citizen outreach. I will advocate to improve our train stations. Yes, we have a lot of work to do, but together we can get it done. We will continue to keep our city beautiful, progressive, and a safe place to live, a place we can all call home and be proud of. I want to thank all of you. Be safe, stay healthy, and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member Ross. Now we'll have um, the Council Member Wooten give her inaugural address. Hello. 
The United States Constitution, the primary guiding document on which our nation was founded, begins, we the people. What an eloquent, inclusive statement, we the people. But when the document was drafted and signed the 17th of September in 1787, the idea of me, a sharecropper's daughter, born and raised in Greensboro, was not included in that we. But through the hard work of trailblazers that came before me, constitutional amendments, civil rights laws, and landmark court decisions, I can finally say, having been reelected to my second term as councilwoman, that I am included in the We the People. Today, I am proud to stand on the shoulders of those trailblazers, like Congresswoman Barbara Jordan, who has distinguished herself as a strong, practical, realist, and a rational politician. A key factor Congresswoman Barbara Jordan stressed, no doing Barbara Jordan all the rules. Jordan's two rules she often referred to was not made for us or by made in this code. I take pride in knowing that I am a councilwoman who is always going to refer to the city code in all that I do. I also know that if the rules aren't seen to benefit us all, I must research, debate, and formulate new rules or amend old rules. I leave you with this special thanks to each of you during this trying time of a pandemic in our world. I congratulate Mayor Dwayne D. Warren Esquire, Councilman Clifford Ross, and Councilman Weldon Montague. I thank all the candidates of the City of Orange Township. Thank you to my wonderful family for their continued support. I pray for the safety and health of our city, state, and world. I will do my best to represent you on your concerns. Thank you. Thank you, Councilwoman Wooten. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the uh, council, um, council at large new council members. Um, at this time, I believe Pastor Lula Baker from Cross and Crown Christian Church will call in because her phone, her mic wasn't working and um, give us the benediction and that will conclude the program. All right, are you there? I don't believe she's on the call. Is there anyone who would like to give the benediction? She said that she's there. Oh, she's there? Speakers are. Pastor Baker, I'm not sure if you're on a call or you're on the screen, but your microphone is off. Hey, hold on, let's see if I can hear you. Where's can you hear her? We thank you for the mayor and every one of the cabinet members. We thank you for all 30,000 members of the Orange Township and their homes and their families. We ask, oh God, that you would cover each of us in the work and the calling that you have done in our hands and our hearts. We ask now, God, that you would protect us as we go to and fro. 
Most of all, God, we ask that you would give us guidance, wisdom, and courage to assume the responsibilities and the roles that you have called us to do. God, even if we slip and falter, please don't be angry with us. Give us another opportunity to stand. God, we ask even this very moment that you would fortify us, that you would equip us, God, and that you would do what we need you to do in order to be able to do what you have called us to do. We thank you for this virtual time, God, and even with all of these challenges, we shall succeed. We shall go forth with victory, with power, and authority. These are our prayers and our concerns. In the matchless name of Jesus, our Christ, our Redeemer, Jehovah, our God, amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, Pastor Baker. Um, this concludes the inaugural ceremony. Uh, the next part of today's program will be the reorganization meeting, which is required by state statute. Where's the agenda? This is a reorganization meeting of the City Council of the City of Orange Township held video, via audio video conferencing on Wednesday, July 1st, 2020, following the inauguration. Roll call. Councilman Coley? Present. Councilwoman Easton? Here. Councilman Johnson, Jr.? I'm present. Councilman Montague the third. Present. Councilman Ross. Present. Councilwoman Summers Johnson. Present. And Councilwoman Wooten. Present. Also present is Joyce Lanier, City Clerk, Lisette Sanchez, Deputy City Clerk, Chris M. Hartwick, the Business Administrator, Gracia R. Montilla, City Attorney, Adrian Matt, Finance Director, Kenneth Douglas, Fire Director, Todd Warren, Police Director, Niall Clements, Chief Financial Officer, Marlon G. Towns, Legislative Research Officer, Mr. And, uh, Margaret Homer, City Clerk's Office, and Tamara Robinson, City Clerk's Office. The requirements of NJSA. 10.4-9 EDSEC, the Sunshine Law has been met. A notice of this meeting was sent to the record transcript and published in the Star Ledger on June 25th, 2020, posted on the city's websites and filed in the office of the city clerk. I now certify for the record that at the regular municipal election held May 12th, 2020, the Honorable Well Montecute III the Honorable Clifford R. Ross and the Honorable Adrian Wooten were elected as at-large council members. The first order of business will be to elect a temporary municipal council president. Is there a motion to appoint a temporary municipal council president? A motion to appoint a temporary uh, council president. And who would that person be? Are we voting for the, the uh, we're voting for the temporary president? Okay. First we have to do a temporary president and then we elect a council president. All right. I'll, I'll let somebody else do this. Madam Clerk, I, nom I nominate uh, Councilwoman Jamie Summers Johnson. Is there a second? Second. second. Say your name, because I who second? Cliff Ross. Open your phone. Roll call. Councilman Coley? Yes. Councilwoman Easton? Yes. Councilman Johnson Jr.? Yes. Councilman Montague III? Yes. Councilman Ross? Yes. Councilwoman Summers Johnson? Yes. Councilwoman Wooten? Yes. yes. Council member Summers Johnson has been selected as the temporary president. At this point, you can preside over the meeting to move to the next phase. At this time, I want to open the floor for council president. Madam Clerk. Yes. Our temporary chair. I'd like to nominate Carrie Coley, East Ward Councilman, as our president. 
You good, Daryl? You want some chips? No. Are there any other nominations? Being no nominations, Madam, Madam Clerk, I'd like to close the nomination for president. Hearing no further nominations, nominations for council presidents are now declared closed. I have a motion for council member Coley as council president. I second it. Move. So uh, councilman Montague the third will make the motion. Is it the motion or the second? The motion is moved by councilman Johnson Jr. Yes. Second by Councilman Montague the third on the motion. Yes. Seeing on roll call. Councilman Coley. Yes. Councilwoman Easton. Yes. Councilman Johnson Jr. Yes. Councilman Montague the third. Yes. Councilman Ross. Yes. Councilwoman Summers Johnson. Yes. Councilwoman Wooten. Is that an abstain? Madam Clerk. Yes. The phone, the signal went out for a minute. So were you on me or Councilwoman Summers Johnson? Uh, Councilwoman Summers Johnson cast her vote. I'm waiting for yours. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Resolution 278-2020, a resolution appointing Council Member Coley as Council President for the Orange Municipal Council. Is there a motion to adopt the resolution? Motion moved. The motion moved by Councilwoman Wooten. Second. That was Councilman Johnson Jr. Oh, Johnson Jr. Say your name first because it's kind of hard to hear. Is there a Absolutely. second? I second it. Council Council okay, on the motion. Seeing on roll call. Councilman Coley? Yes. Councilwoman Easton? Yes. Councilman Johnson Jr. Yes. Council um member Montague the third? Yes. Councilman Ross? Yes. Councilwoman Summers Johnson? Yes. Councilwoman Wooten. Yes. The floor is now open for nominations for Vice President of the Municipal Council. Uh, Madam Clerk, I would like to nominate Councilwoman Easton as the Vice President. Are there any other nominations? Council, Madam Clerk, in the seeing no nominations, could you close, please? Here are no further nominations. Now, uh, nominations for Council President declared closed. May I have a motion for Council Member Eason as Vice President? Moved by Coley. There a second? Second, Council Member Ross. On the motion? Being on roll call, Councilman Coley? Yes. Councilwoman Eason? Yes. Councilman Johnson Jr. Yes. Councilman Montague the third. Yes. Councilman Ross. Yes. Councilwoman Summers Johnson. Yes. Councilwoman Wooten. Yes. Resolution 279-2020, a resolution appointing Councilwoman Eason as council vice president for the Orange Municipal Council. Can I get a motion? Moved by Coley. Move. There a second? Second. second. Okay. On the motion, seeing on roll call. Councilman Coley? Yes. Councilwoman Easton? Yes. Councilman Johnson Jr.? Yes. Councilman Montague the third. Yes. 
Um, Councilman Ross? Yes. Councilwoman Summers Johnson? Yes. Councilwoman Wooten? Yes. Council President, would you like to have, um, do you have any remarks? I do, just so quick remarks. Again, uh, I just want to congratulate our new city uh, council members. Um, I want to congratulate the mayor on his third term. And again, like um, Councilman uh, Ross suggested, and um, well, the Monica suggested that it's my hope that we could have a unified city council. And I know we're not going to agree on every issue, but we can respectfully uh, agree. And as we move forward in these challenging times, I'm just hoping that we can all um, pretty much stay on one accord. Again, congratulations and God bless City of Orange. Council Vice President, do you have any remarks? Uh, yes. First, let me first let me thank council members, uh, our department chairs, the administration for their support during my last tenure as council president. And I, as I pass on the baton, um, hopefully that with uh, Councilman Kozel's leadership, that we can bring this council together and that we can all agree to disagree, but work together as a team to move the city of Orange forward. I want to congratulate our Councilman, <laughs> Councilman at Large, uh, Clifford Ross, and Councilman at Large, Walter Montague. Welcome. I look forward to working with you in the future. And just remember the success of the council. It's us working, but most of all, we got to communicate and talk. We got to discuss things and move the city forward. And also, I want to congratulate our mayor on his third term. And hopefully, as, as the leader of this, yes. that we can help, he can help us pull us all together on one accord. We can't be successful unless we all work together. So let's put personalities aside. And let's do what's best for the residents of this city. I look forward to working with each one of you going forward. And as you know, my one priority is the citizens of Orange and the North Ward. So thank you all and let's move forward. Council President, um, the BA has contacted um, the post office and um, he asked if he could um, walk on a resolution and at this time I would like to turn over the meeting to the BA so he can um, explain, go over the resolution before we um, begin the process. Chris, you got to unmute yourself. Good afternoon. Uh, congratulations to the new council members and congratulations to the mayor. Um, as you know, the city's business never stops. Um, we find ourselves in a situation where we have been working on a portion of a project in the Reox Street redevelopment area for over two years. This is a project which um, the city has attempted to complete on four prior occasions um, without success. Uh, the city has assembled all of the necessary property with the exception of three small parcels which front on Freeway Drive. Those three parcels are owned by the Department of Transportation of the state of New Jersey. We found out last week that uh, they had passed on all of our uh, other requirements um, and that we needed to do a resolution and deliver both the resolution and the letter of intent so that we could get on the State House Commission agenda. The State House Commission is an obscure state agency that has to approve the disposition of state property. They do not meet every month. In fact, um, this is the first time they're meeting this year, tomorrow. Um, I sent you all a, um, an email that the mayor had me craft last evening to the Lieutenant Governor. 
Um, the Lieutenant Governor swung into action and we had multiple phone calls today and we have passed on the letter of intent and now we need the resolution. From a financial standpoint, the redevelopment agreement that was already approved by the council requires the developer to fund the cost of the acquisition of these three small parcels. Um, ordinarily, we don't walk things like this on, but in view of the fact that the State House Commission is meeting tomorrow um, and they have not scheduled another meeting yet for the remainder of this year, we are asking that the council consider the resolution, approve it so that we can file it with the state this afternoon. Um, those are the documents that I sent you. Um, I also sent you a copy of the uh, email that I sent to the Lieutenant Governor. I think that those should all be included within the record. Um, this is once again, a project that we have been working on for an extended period of time. The reason that it's urgent that we approve this is that the construction lender who has provided a commitment to the REOC 1 developer um, has extended the uh, commitment date for a last and final time to August 15th. Um, we've let the state know that. No one wants this deal to be killed by uh, COVID um, or by uh, our inaction or inability to get these documents to the state. Again, this has a zero financial impact on the city um, and it's moving along phase one of the REOC Street development, which has been a goal and a project in the city of Orange for at least five years. Um, if, I, if there are any questions, I would be more than happy to answer them. Um, the documents are in your email boxes. Council members, do you have any questions? Okay. Madam Clerk, I just, um, we can move forward with the, with the uh, walk on re uh, resolution. Thank you. Um, walk on resolution 280-2020 WO, a resolution approving a purchase and sale agreement between the city and the state of New Jersey Department of Transportation in connection with the city's acquisition for redevelopment purposes of certain property identified as block 2804, lots nine and 10, and authorizing the mayor to execute the purchase and sell agreement on behalf of the city. Is there a motion to walk this on? Madam Clerk, you can move that please. Motion by Councilman Johnson Jr. Is there a second? Second by Coley. On the motion? Second. On the motion? Okay, I can't take it now. No Seeing on roll call. Councilman Coley? Yes. Councilman Eason? Yes. Councilman Johnson Jr. Yes. Councilman Montague the third? Yes. Councilman Ross, unmute yourself. Yes. Thank you. Councilwoman Summers Johnson? Yes. Councilwoman Wooten? Yes. So at this time, um, it's a very unusual point because this time we have to request, are there any citizen comments pertaining to this walk-on resolution? And the virtual um, policy, I don't believe is going to work right now. So are there any citizens who have a comment about this resolution? Seeing none, citizen comments are now closed. Resolution 280-2020 WO, a resolution approving a purchase and sale agreement between the city and the state of New Jersey Department of Transportation in connection with the city's acquisition for redevelopment purposes of certain property identified as block 2804, lots nine and 10, and authorizing the mayor to execute the purchase and sale agreement on behalf of the city. Is there a motion to adopt? 
Madam Clerk, Second. All right, who was the motion? Johnson, Johnson Jr. Johnson Jr. And the second was um, Councilman Montague III? Yes. On the motion? Seeing on roll call, Councilman Coley? Yes. Councilwoman Easton? Yes. Councilman Johnson Jr.? Yes. Councilman Montague III? Yes. Councilman Ross? Yes. Councilwoman Summers Johnson? Yes. Councilwoman Wooten? Yes. This concludes the reorganization meeting of the Orange Municipal Council. On behalf of the honor the mayor and honorable members of the Orange Municipal Council, I extend uh, uh, our thanks and appreciation for your participation in today's event. Members, does anyone have anything to say before I close? Council, uh, Madam Clerk, I just want to thank the council um, for indulging us. I know this is a reorg meeting. Um, this was important and the administration is extremely grateful that you've allowed this to be walked on and voted in favor. So thank you very much. Thank you, BA. Is there a motion to adjourn? Before we close, Madam Clerk, I just want to say um, uh, to, 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 to the clerk's office and to the BA, uh, we have been in some unforeseen uh, times. And I know that from time to time, things have not, have not gone the way that we anticipated it created them for whatever reason. But yet, uh, the BA and our group, they seem to kind of grab the bull by the horns and make things work. And I just hope that the next year, um, we can learn from what we have went through and we can grow and uh, continue to move forward. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Council Is there a motion President? to adjourn? Uh, okay. Council President. <laughs> That's Councilman Johnson. <laughs> Thank you, Council Vice President. Appreciate that. Uh, I, I, I don't want to uh, lose this moment to uh, congratulate uh, my two newest colleagues and to welcome back for a second term uh, Councilwoman Adrian Wooten. Uh, you know, they uh, put on uh, uh, nice campaigns to get elected to be elected to serve on this board. Between the day and the morrow, uh, uh, Council, Councilman Ross and Councilman, um, Councilman uh, Montague, you got to work on your uh, on your, uh, your your button to turn your mics on and off. You guys are staying green, so you get to tomorrow to figure it out how to mute yourself. Everybody, be blessed. <laughs> Thank you, Councilman Johnson. Thank you. Is there a motion to adjourn? I motion to adjourn. Well did both of you. Second, Councilman Johnson Jr. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Meeting adjourned at 1.21 p.m. Thank you all. Have the rest of your day.